For the guys out there, what's the strangest thing you've masturbated with? I tried to stick the head of my dick in the end of a shampoo bottle. When I was young, like 13, I was reading masturbation tips and found one for a cucumber. I took a cucumber from my fridge, hollowed it out and warmed it up in the microwave for 30 seconds. It burnt the tip of my penis when I first tried to put it in, so I waited. Then I finally started doing the deed. It felt pretty good. By the time I was done, the sides of the cucumber were split and the thing was falling apart. I cleaned myself off, hid it deep in a garbage can and carried on with my day. When I was 13, I was visiting my uncle and his family. I was sleeping in the living room and they were all asleep in their rooms upstairs. I was rock hard for no reason other than being fucking 13. I needed to take care of it before I could sleep. I sat up and fucked the shit out of the slot between the couch cushions. Oh, also when I was 11 I got unknown feelings in my wiener so I took my grandma's pillow into the bathroom and laid on the ground and made sweet love to it. I panicked when I was done so I put it under the sink. A few hours later my grandma came to the living room, holding her pillow with slug trails all over wondering what the fuck had happened to her pillow. Filled a sandwich bag with baby oil, stuck my dick inside the bag, sealed the bag around my dick, stuck it in between the cushions of a couch, and proceeded to fuck the couch. Dude, I once stuck my junk in a banana. That's the worst of it, thankfully. Did you just wrap a banana peel around your dong? Or did you smash your wang into the banana mush so that it sort of spurted around? These are important details. I smashed my wang into the banana so that it sort of spurted out. Then I was left with no choice but to proceed with the former. I'm so sorry I didn't elaborate. A hot buttered blueberry bagel. In front of my girlfriend, no less. We like to incorporate food and masturbation into our foreplay. Warning. Weird shit ahead. Not making a throwaway for this. This is a one-time use deal though, it is a waste of pasta, so yeah I don't do this anymore. However I've done it a couple of times and it's bonkers, in a good way. Okay so you cook pasta. The mushier the better. Strain it with cold water, then rinse it in hot water you'll feel why later. Take a large cup, line it with a bag. Fill the bag with the pasta, then cover the top with a few layers of saran wrap, three layers work best. If you want to secure the saran wrap, use elastics. Take a sharp knife and cut an X-shaped hole. Now if you did this right, the hole should just about fit your member and not expand too much further. And then you're done. Go at it like never before. Well, I never thought I'd tell this tale but, in the spirit of masturbatory camaraderie and sharing, once as a young child who viewed the world with fresh eyes and saw the many mundane things which could bring me satisfaction I came happened to cross a box. We're talking a real bog standard box here. I was not a fussy masturbator then or now, this box did however have two features that set it apart. 1. It had its handle holes at crotch height, I dare say this box was asking for it. 2. It was full of Christmas decorations, mostly tinsel I believe. I instantly realized its potential and having grown tired of my affair with the hoover and my trusty sock I set to work. I won't go into details but let's just say that that year I was dreaming of a white Christmas. I fucked a box of tinsel. I'm nothing if not a festive fucker. When I was about 12, 13 I took all of the Play-Doh out of the can, formed it into a ring and put it around the rim of the Play-Doh can and humped the shit out of it. I like to think I created the fleshlight prototype. The downside was dried bits of Play-Doh stuck in your pubes. Should I be using a throwaway? Ah, fuck it. I stole a foam toy ball maybe 8 inches in diameter. I cut a slit in it. I tried filling a latex glove with lotion, then putting that into the slit and you know. That didn't work. I was too big for the glove so I said fuck the glove and just put lotion right into the slit of the ball. I was still too big and eventually just said fuck this and used my hand. Took me three months to throw the lotion-soaked ball away. A snowman. A sandwich. I regretted it, not for the normal reasons, but because I was hungry immediately after. Poked it through the newspaper my friend was reading once. I figured it'd be the funniest thing in the world. People jump when you hit the newspaper from behind. If a cock comes through, piss your pants laughter. 
jacuzzi jet, put it on low so it wouldn't hurt too bad. I tried a Coke bottle once. Even soft, it was too big to fit. Successfully, a toilet paper roll. Cut hole in a watermelon and fucked it silly. It was a very naughty watermelon. Bubble wrap. You'd think the texture would make it feel great, but I wasn't impressed. Six out of ten, maybe would try again. You know those weird cylindrical toys filled with fluid and are surprisingly difficult to hold? Yeah, one of those things. Oh, and I had this Pikachu stuffed doll that ripped just under the tail. I was pretty sure I was meant to do that one. The hole in the back on my speakers. Turn the bass on for bonus. I was once banging this nice golden brown warm apple pie on my kitchen counter. Until my dad walked in. I once stuck my dick in a brand new jar of grape jelly, then realized it was a bad idea, so I put it back in the cabinet. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Write your similar stories in the comments. And also be sure to subscribe to our channel to not miss new super interesting videos, and I advise you to watch our other videos.